Hi, this is Nick in 3WG again. And this is the second demo of Pigtail. Today we're going to be looking at Yesu FT817. Now we have the iPad up top. And this is the Pigtail. This is what it's actually going to look like, except there will be silk screening on top that says Pigtail and the company name. Now there's a window on top. This is actually an acrylic window. It's not just a hole. Uh, it looks down into some LEDs there so you can see what the status is of the Wi-Fi module. And on the end, there's a little switch in the uh, DB9 or DE9 connector. Uh, the cable I'm using here is the actual Yesu branded, uh, I think it's a CT62 cable, to get the uh, serial into and out of the 817. Uh, power supply I'm using is a uh, PowerWorks something or other. And you'll notice that uh, on the bottom here, there's a space for a 9-volt battery. The, uh, the actual connector that will come with it will be a 9-volt connector with a uh, little two pin. It's not going to use Molex but um, just because there wasn't enough vertical space in the, um, the enclosure but um, the uh, it is a two pin connector so you could replace it just like I have here if you wanted to power it externally. So let's get this all connected back up. And turn on the power supply. And let's turn the radio on. And the pigtail. Now I have this one actually connected to a Wi-Fi network. It's not doing ad hoc for this demo. So blinking green is good. That means we're associated to the access point. We've received an IP address uh, that we'll see in the app. So let's start up Hamlog. Uh, we go into tools and pigtail just like before. And the, the pigtail should pop up here. I'll we'll click it to select it. I also, also added this button down here, settings. Um, right now it's just VFO memories, but uh, there's four options there. You can set the mode and the frequency in kilohertz. So we've selected it, and also um, it remembers what your previous radio choice was. So in this case, Yesu. And then let's add a contact. So we have mode USB and 14 megahertz. which is what we see down here. If we change it up to 15 meters, you can see that it did update. And as we, see if I can get them both in the screen here, might be tough. If we rotate the VFO, you can see that it does update the, uh, the UI up there, as well as changing modes. Uh, the user interface looks different just because Yesu gives us different um, commands that we can run. It's nowhere near as many as Elecraft gives you, but um, you can control the radio. Uh, for example, changing to FM, you can see that the UI updated as well as the, the radio is now on FM. Uh, we can switch around different bands here as well. Uh, frequency, you can set it manually if you wanted to say 14060 kilohertz set and if we want to go to CW it updates. Uh, you can switch between VFO A and B and then these are those VFO memories so if I hit one it goes to um, 160 meters AM which, and this is just what I had set in those VFO memories earlier. Uh, then we have switches down here for lock and split. Uh, for example, I just turned lock on there. And you can see the little lock icon on the right here is now turned on. Um, same for split. The little split indicator came on there. And then PTT also works as well. I don't have a, a dummy load on here, so I don't uh, have to turn that on. So that's it for Yesu right now. Um, ICOM's next. And uh, and these these aren't final. They're, whatever else I can put in there, I will. Uh, there's definitely a space issue when it comes to getting things on the screen. So it's, um, it's going to be something that, that we're going to have to deal with. Oh, another update, um, 
I have all of the parts right now to sell kits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the only thing I don't have are these enclosures. Um, they're being made right now, and I should have them in about two to three weeks. Uh, so about three to four weeks from now, you should see version 4.0 of Hamlog get released, and uh, that'll have all the pigtail code. Um, I haven't done any of the iPhone UI yet, um, but uh, if you imagine what the UI on iPhone looks like when you're adding a contact, uh, when you hit the pigtail button, what'll happen is a screen will slide over. Uh, they'll have all the buttons there, and then you just hit the back button to get back to adding your contact. And the, um, the mode of frequency up here will update in the main contact screen. Uh, so you don't have to um, switch over to pigtail. Just like here, it's, um, it updates the, uh, the frequency and mode. Oh, it's locked right now. Without looking at the actual pigtail controller screen. So, yeah, about uh, three to four weeks, you should be able to get your hands on it. And uh, I have a hundred kits available. Enclosures, I have 50 coming. And uh, they are... The Wi-Fi and the enclosure are the most expensive parts on this thing. Uh, they, drive, they do drive the price up. So let me know you, what you think down in the contacts, or excuse me, the comments there. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Uh, so there's one more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, those enclosures come with a silicone wrapper. So uh, when I said this is what it's actually going to look like, that was outside of the wrapper. So this is it fully assembled inside the silicone case. Um, this thing is pretty thick. And it's uh, pretty durable. So this will come with each one of the enclosures. Uh, sort of as a set. And it just sort of slips on the outside. Like you can see... Uh, like that. And as I mentioned, there'll be silk screening on the top.